Hey folks, Mel Vincent here with Welcome Back Homes, your authorized iron manufactured homes dealer covering Southern Brunswick. So if you're going to build a home anywhere in the southern half of this province, we'd love to chat with you. Continuing our discussion on basements and their installation. So we're back on our uh, site uh, today where we now have the drain tile in place. And the drain tile is at the base of the footings, and you may have heard that in one of our previous videos when we were talking about footings. Um, it's a about a four inch corrugated uh, black pipe, um, little perforations in it for the water to come in and uh, and to go out uh, the site. So in this particular home, under this ground here is another pipe that runs back on the other side of that pile of dirt, which will disappear and takes any water that uh, comes up through the ground or down through the ground. Um, in this site, there is a possibility of a little groundwater coming up. So we've taken some extra measures uh, to deal with that. But more often than not, it's it's dirt or water that uh, comes from the sky and runs off the, uh, the adjoining property and down into the ground. And we put this clear rock down there that you see um, so the water can get through it. And folks, this is a, a challenge that I sometimes see on job sites that uh, that clear rock is not there. Uh, they've used existing dirt. So again, if you look at, uh, there's the rock pile we're, we're digging from, there's the existing dirt. So lots of uh, earth and uh, topsoil and sand uh, in it. Water doesn't go through it well. You know, some sites have got a lot of clay, uh, horrible to have uh, water go through it. So you want some nice clear rock uh, that allows the water as it's coming down through the ground to, uh, to be able to, to get through it and get into that, uh, that piping system and get away from your, uh, your home. Uh, the gravel might even be one of the more critical parts than the piping. Also, so you see the tar. So the tar prevents the water from going through the, uh, the foundation. Uh, concrete is not waterproof, uh, so we put a waterproofing material, and in this particular site, the, uh, uh, the tar is more than a suitable uh, product. So all in place, then uh, shortly we'll backfill and, uh, and bring it up uh, to that tar line and uh, grade it off so that there's some slope and we'll keep natural water from going away. I'm gonna take a little peek inside the basement. Uh, so as you look down below, the gravel is also there. So again, we wanna, any water that happens to come in, we want it to be able to get out. Uh, you see a white pipe just kinda to the surface of the ground. That's for radon gas. So that's a, a natural occurring uh, product in the ground that uh, is starting to become a, a popular topic. We don't see it a whole lot around here, but we do prepare for it. And down at the far end, you see a white pipe sticking up, a little short black pipe, and then a big long pipe going up and over the foundation. So the white pipe is the radon gas uh, evacuation route. A pump can be placed on that if it should be a, an issue uh, at a later date, and you can evacuate that gas from, from your home. The black pipe you, you see, the shorter one, is for a floor drain that we'll prep for and a uh, hot water tank and some laundry will be on that area so if there was ever a flood um, we have a way of getting the water out of the basement. And the next pipe you see going looks like it's coming up and over the foundation it's actually going out. That is the um, water line from the well and we'll hook in a pressure tank and pressure switch and all that stuff so that these folks will have some, some water going in. So right now that pipe is, uh, is much longer than what we, uh, we need, but it is what it is. Um, next we'll pour a basement floor over the top of that uh, gravel and that'll probably happen someday next week. And then we'll be ready to get this home in here and get this show really on the, uh, on the way. Also point out, this site is uh, got a septic system, so the hole that you see there is where the septic pipe will enter in and all that good stuff will leave this, uh, this home. So folks, a little more discussion on basements and what happens uh, below and under the ground that you typically don't get to see. I hope you enjoyed uh, some of these videos and we still have a few more ones to touch up for you. However, if you have questions on uh, this product or any of the other stuff that we uh, we do here at Welcome Back, please don't hesitate to give me a call. You can reach me at 721-3948. Love to chat with you and help you out uh, any way we can. Uh, anyhow, folks, uh, stay safe out there and uh, have a great weekend. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye-bye.